Welcome to another segment of Spotlight on Frazee. I'm your host, Hank Ludke, and I'm here today with Carrie Schultz from uh, EFCE. ECFE. ECFE, <laughs> Early Childhood <laughs> Family Education. That's right. Yeah. I, you know, it's my <laughs> dyslexia kicking yeah. in. Good to see you, dear. And you too. Thank you for having me. So what's happening at ECFE? <laughs> okay, we've got a couple of exciting events coming up, and I'm glad to have this opportunity to share them. The first one is a Clifford Literacy event, which is um, sponsored by Prairie Public and ECFE. We were fortunate enough to get a grant from Prairie Public. Um, That's tremendous. Yeah, you... we're excited. Wow. <laughs> so it's a literacy event. Mm -hmm. um, it'll take place Saturday, April 10th from 10 till noon, and this will be in the early childhood wing of the elementary school, door 19. Um, the entire event is free to families with children zero to eight years old because we'll be doing some reading I, I, is activities. Is that mental, mental uh, age? Ability there? Or, uh, or age chronological, because <laughs> if it's mental we age, I can fit in that group. We, we'd probably let you come in, yeah. <laughs> but it's the, it's, the, it's the kids we're looking at with their parents. Um, the event includes a free book and a variety of activities that will be conducted by some of our volunteers here at school, which I just want to quickly mention, we're so grateful they're coming. We'll have the Boy Scouts, Cub Scouts, Girl Scouts, the cheerleaders, Junior Miss Frazee, Elizabeth Anderson, Lucky Dog Reading Therapy with some 4-H students, Knowledge no, no. Bowl. Lucky Dog Reading Therapy. Yeah. Now, You've got to explain that to this me. This is it's something <coughs> new to me, too. Um, it's uh, Mary Holson. Holson, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, who does this through the library, also in Detroit Lakes. But um, it's, it's, it's an environment for children to read where they don't feel threatened. So we have these nice, calm dogs that are very good listeners. So these children can read their books to the, the That's dogs. That's great. Yeah, and the 4-H students will be there helping. And the youngest children could just share their picture book with the dogs. It's a non-threatening atmosphere. So <laughs> we're excited to have that. That's great. Yeah. And then we'll also have the Frazee Burgess Fatherhood Group. Uh, uh, help from the Link Library here in Frazee, and also the CAPSI organization, which is the Child Abuse Prevention Council. And now, where are they at? This is out of Detroit <coughs> Lakes from Excuse the county. Me. Yep. So we'll have um, representation from there. A lot of free items to be given away to the kids, some fun activities. And the exciting part, too, is this event will end with a musical event by Phil Baker, who has performed all over the United States and also at the White House. So you've got to come, that'll be fun. The other one I want to share is our Week of the Young Child. The theme is Down on the Farm. Okay, and that starts when? That will be Friday, April 16th, again from 10 till noon in the Early Childhood Wing, and again, door 19 to enter. Um, that's from the ECFE group, the Head Start, and also the Early Childhood Special Ed. We've just got a lot of fun different things, farm chores for the kids to do with their families. That's the zero to five-year-olds, bring your mom and dad and do some farm activities like making butter. Um, we'll be kneading some dough. This is, this is, uh, you've got some great programming coming up here. We do. <laughs> it's good for the stuff. kids to be able to learn how that actually happens. Yeah. Oh, it is, especially the making butter. I'm excited to see how that will fly. <laughs> <laughs> and also we've got some great area, um, spinning, uh, women who do spinning, spinning yarn on the spinning mm -hmm. wheel, and they're going to allow the kids to make some bracelets from the yarn that they'll create from that. And there'll also be a great snack for the kids, and we have area agencies that will be coming, and they also have some information for the families and activities for the kids also. Well, that's tremendous, Carrie. You know, I mean, this is great, but, you know, one thing with, uh, with Clifford, you know, now, do you have a, have a city license for Clifford? Yeah. You know, he's a big red dog. <laughs> we'll have to get one because Clifford <laughs> will be there also, and we don't want him to be caught by any, you know, city people without his license, so we'll take care of that. Well, that's tremendous. Now, remember, April 10th, 10 to 12, room uh, door 19 in the elementary in the ECFE mm -hmm. ring, and mm -hmm. April 16th, also 10 to 12, and watch the butterfly. <laughs> Thanks, Gary. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Hank. Appreciate it. And with that, we'll be right back with another segment of Spotlight on Frazee. Welcome back to Spotlight on Frazee. I'm your host, Hank Ludkin. I'm here today with Lori Thorpe. Hi, Lori. Hi, folks. Hi, Hank. Lori, Lori is with Community Ed and a bunch of other things. But one of the <laughs> things, <laughs> things okay. we're going to talk about is the lions yep. and what's coming up with the lions. Now that the water's up, 
and the logs are coming down the river to the mill on Frazee. Yep, yep, yep. We've got an activity, <laughs> and, and Hank's going, huh, how can we relate this to our community? Well, here's what happened is a lot of you are aware that a person who uh, lives in the Toad Lake area, Jeff Strassman, mm -hmm. uh, had produced a film in regard to the logging industry. It's a documentary. It's called Timber, Dead, and Down. And that was shown first through the Becker County Historical Society. It was a fundraiser, and it was shown in Detroit Lakes. So then somebody said, we need to have a Frazee debut of this film because it relates to the logging industry, and Frazee was so instrumental in that in the area because of the great river system. Yeah. And so. And we had yeah. one, of, uh, one of the largest mills in North America. Yeah. Nichols, Here over, Nichols Chisholm. Yeah. Was o the over 110 years ago, they were milling a quarter of a million, 250,000 board feet in 24 hours here at Frazee. Oh, my family worked at the lumber mill, and maybe yours did too. I don't know about if you're, you're some of your ancestors. Uh, no, no my, my, mine were milking cows and, uh, and making cheese. Okay. Not in the, <laughs> well, and, you know, um, Frazee was really a company town, mm -hmm. and our L. Frazee, who the town is named for, was in the lumber industry, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, so a lot of the houses in different parts of Frazee, I believe, were owned by the company. You know, if you if you think back to what you learned in social studies, mm -hmm. um, you spent your money at the company store, perhaps. Yeah. yeah. Um, I have an ancestor who got his hand caught in the mill. You know, you got all these stories, um, and a lot of this is documented on the film. So, there's going to be a Frazee event, and the Lions are, have the opportunity to um, be doing a pancake breakfast with that, and that'll be April 17th. So mark your calendars, because there's lots going on in Frazee. Yeah, at the event center. At the event center. And we're gonna have start with pancake breakfast. It's gonna be a short day, short event, because mm -hmm. there's lots of other things that day. But we'll have pancake breakfast from about eight until nine, and we'll be finalizing timing this week, get that out to you mm -hmm. um, on TV and the paper and so on. So we'll have pancake breakfast hosted by the Lions. And then we roll into showing the film, and I believe that'll start at 9. It's a family event, free will offering, so the price is right for you to bring your kids if you feel that they'd like watching that. Um, lots of other things going on that day, too. Softball tournaments, oh, church that. events. And, and the thing is, we're talking about the, lo uh, the old logging industry, it's a, it was a tremendous boom mm -hmm. at the end of the 1800s and early 1900s as the lumber barons moved from Michigan to Wisconsin to Minnesota. And then they hit the Red River Valley and ran out of trees. And the Nickel Chisholm moved all the way out to, I believe, Montana was their next stop with the big mill when it, when it all left here. Well, if you can picture all those logs coming down our rivers. And, and mm -hmm. here we'll be watching this movie right you know, very, very close to the edge of the river where all this was occurring. Yeah. So it's going to be a tremendous uh, event for you. And so come and have the Lumberjack Pancake Breakfast and, and see what was going on here as the lumber barons moved across this country. And the Indians used to uh, help move the logs down the river because they were very, very skillful. They, they would actually be out there moving the logs and riding the log jam down. I don't think they want us to demonstrate that. No. no. With, and and, 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 and they balance. had the Wanigan out there. They had the Wanigan, which is the name of the high school yearbook. So lots of yeah. history there. And a Wanigan is actually a cook shack that's on the river with the logs. Yep, traveling along. So we'll April look 17th. for you April yep. 17th. April 17th, beginning at about 8 a.m. Watch for details. Um, short film at 9. The film lasts about 55 minutes. It's going to be a great, great morning of events. Thank you, Lori. Thank you. Hey. Always a pleasure to have you on the show. We have fun, don't we? Thank and you. That's by the city of Frazee is doing sponsorship of that, too. So. Great. And with that, we'll catch you next week on Spotlight on Frazee.